You're listening to Affirmations to Antidote Mother Guilt by Laura Stewart Panko. As I practice forgiveness and make peace with the past, I free myself up to enjoy the present moment that much more. With every passing day, I cultivate greater and greater compassion for myself and all others. I remember that we are all constantly changing and growing, and just as I accept my child's past actions and ways of being, so, too, I accept my own past actions and ways of being. I give myself permission to be fully human, and I keep growing and developing. To support myself in making choices that are healthy for my child and I, I access greater clarity and self-assurance by thoroughly relaxing my body and breathing slowly and deeply. I support my physical and mental well-being by eating well, staying hydrated, and striking a healthy balance between rest and activity. I ensure that I reach out for good quality support and guidance whenever I need it or want it. If it's mine, I own it. If it's not, I don't. I rise above any temptation to either dramatize or downplay my experience. I am authentic and real about my life. I recognize that perfection is a fallacy. Good enough parenting is truly good enough. I remember that challenging experiences have their purposes and they can help develop resiliency in both myself and my child. I forgive myself for anything I wish I'd done differently in the past remembering that I did the best I could in each moment. I reflect upon anything I dislike about my past mothering, graciously harvesting the wisdom and lessons afforded by hindsight. I choose to think kind thoughts, and I only permit healthy self-talk. If I catch myself beating myself up, I stop and correct my behavior, choosing instead to treat myself gently. I improve my well-being by regularly taking stock of all that's good about my mothering. I extend my support and acceptance to other mothers contributing to a culture of comprehensive compassion. I remember that there is literally no way to be a perfect mother, but there are unlimited ways to be a good mother. I take practical measures to make my mothering the best it can be. I take breaks from my children. I take good care of myself and I allow others to give me some TLC. I make note of how I'm learning and developing over time, how my skills are increasing, and so is my maturity. I acknowledge that this process of growth in motherhood is completely healthy and normal. I'm finding reliable ways to connect with my strength and resilience any time the going gets tough. I keep things in perspective and I give myself permission to take it one moment at a time. I allow myself to process any unpleasant emotions that may arise, such as anger, frustration, overwhelm, or disappointment. It's okay if I don't feel good in every single moment. I allow myself to be human. I let other people know 
how they can best support me in my motherhood. If ever I feel judged by others, I reach out for support and care from people I trust. I remember that nature designed mothering to be done in the context of a village, so I validate myself when things are hard or overwhelming, treating myself with compassion and kindness when the effects of 21st century living have their impacts. I keep tabs on my mental health, and I make choices that support my psychological well-being. I generate peace of mind by placing my attention on pleasant things, be that something beautiful, something funny, or something I'm grateful for. I can get light and creative, challenging myself to see just how supportive and kind I can be to myself. I recognize lots of reasons why I can feel proud of myself as a mother. I give myself credit for all the good mothering I do. I am good to myself as I grow as a mother. I replace any self-judgment with self-encouragement. I trust my instincts and intuition, and I do what I feel is best for myself and my child. I speak my truth, and I stand firmly in my awareness. I'm aware that the way I frame things affects how I feel about them and the choices I make. Therefore, I choose healthy, empowering perspectives that help me feel good about my mothering. I make peace a priority, letting go of the past, facing forward, inviting life to unfold for the greatest good. I claim my right to define my personal expressions of mothering, working well with what is while honoring my child for the unique person they are. One size does not fit all, and I find joy in our ways of living life well.